Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here. I'm in the kitchen today with Mikey and we are going to be making some bunch of crunch candy. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. We didn't do that yet, did we? Yes, I was oh, talking okay. about this. All right. That's what I was talking about. You weren't listening! What? <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy and Aunt Lou. And today, Aunt Lou is in the kitchen to show me how to make what's it called? Bunch of crunch candy. Bunch of crunch candy. I'm all for that. I, I like a good piece of candy. This is something that I'm known for at church now. I made it for VBS one time, and people. I was um, helping out with the food, and whenever they said that they didn't know what they were going to make for dessert one day for the kids, I was. I said it got you covered and so I made it there at the church and people started you wouldn't believe how many people come crawling out of the cracks whenever they smell something this good <laughs> good stuff huh uh-huh well what do we need to start out this recipe all right first thing you'll need almond bar white melting chocolate whatever you can get it's whatever you have in your store it's the block that usually has like blocks within the block you know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about like there's indentions between the blocks melting chocolate Yes, melting chocolate. Or so, bark. So you take that. Okay. If you have a lot of time and you're just la-di-da, then, you know, just cut it along the lines. Maybe cut those blocks in half. Pop it in there. Every once in a while, give it a stir. If you are like moi and generally forget to make things ahead of time, hence the fact that I made this at the church <laughs> um, and you're oh my goodness I need this to go faster then you can chop it up into where it's almost shavings or chop just chop it as fast as you can and into as small pieces as you can put it in there turn it on and you can get it melted down a lot faster and you want to set on high right yes okay one of the th reasons why Chris and I like to do candy in a crock pot is it keeps it from seizing up now that being said, I have had it seize up in here before, but it was because of my own uh, just dumb move. And so um, I didn't, I didn't watch it. I left it there, and I knew with how much I cut it up that I needed to watch it, and I didn't. This isn't one of those things that you want to keep in a crock pot after you got it cooked, because after it seizes up. You might as well get yourself a hammer and a chisel to get it back out. <laughs> or you could turn it back on high and start to melt it down again, but it'd be a lot of cleanup. So yeah. we have two pounds of that almond bark, correct? Almond bark vanilla flavor. And we kind of cut a step out to help y'all out because we didn't want to stand here for an hour and, and, also, and wait to have this stuff melt down. I've been here all day. I miss my husband and my kids all and day. I love you all. She's been here all day. I, I miss her husband and kids. <laughs> and I've got over an hour drive to get home, so we're kind of speeding things up here. Almond bark, melt it down. What else do we need? Four cups, mini marshmallows. Now make sure that the pack you buy, that they're all like they should be. That the pack hasn't been melted at some point during shipping and kind of all stuck together because you're going to want these to go all throughout. So toss those in. Marshmallows. Four cups, Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies. Ooh. Broken bowl. Don't do that. <laughs> That's I did your that job. Day and got in trouble. Okay. What's that? Four cups cornflakes. And then my favorite ingredient in anything. Cup and half. Peanut, peanut, peanut butter. butter. One and one half cup of peanut butter. <laughs> right in there. Okay. Oh, you know, I'm so, I've done this so many times, I don't even know if we're doing it according to the recipe. I don't know what order I tell you on the blog. I just, I make it a lot. <laughs> and so, people want it whenever, um, like family members want it, whenever we do holiday stuff. And church people want it when we do church together. So, it's just kind of a big, um, now... We love almond extract in my family. So you can just gauge it for your family. I think in the recipe it said, what, half a teaspoon? Mm -hmm. Michael and I absolutely love it. So we sometimes go teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons, you know, somewhere around in there. But so we're going to pour that all around. Mm, just a little bit more. There we go. That was about a teaspoon and three quarters. It's okay. 
Hey, we like almonds. Modify it to how you like it. You can smell the almonds in there now along with uh -huh. the almond bark. I promise you when I take this home, Michael's going to go, oh, I can smell the almond. And then he's going to get all excited. Yeah, you put that in there in that hot crock pot and your house is going to smell good. Ours mm -hmm. is smelling good right now. And then just mix it up real good? Yep, just make sure, because the thing is, when you scoop this out, think of it kind of like, um, you're going to scoop it out the same as you would no-bake cookies. Mm -hmm. But you want to make sure, like, your everything's kind of evenly distributed so that whenever you put it out here, you're going to have some marshmallows in each one and some cornflakes and Rice Krispies. You want all the ingredients in each one so that you get all the yumminess. So kind of like that. Yeah. Did I do a good job? Good job, Mikey. Good job. I did a good job. All right. So now, give it one more try on the top. Let's get this stuff on the bottom on the top. And boom. There you go. Mm-hmm. It's hot and messy. All right. Mm -hmm. Now what, Aunt Lou? Oh, she got to make me do it. Just how big? How big are these you want? How, you just do it however you want. Like, I usually do about like that. Well, wait. You can do bigger or smaller. I put smaller. my fingers in my mouth. I should probably wash my hands. <laughs> Before you go pushing the food off. Anyone ever notice? Somebody's going to get on her and say he stuck his fingers in his mouth and back uh, in his food. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That is good. <laughs> you can absolutely taste the almond. And I'm going to move. There you go. Like that. We'll slide that back. So what you're going to do, you're actually going to need a lot more parchment paper mm -hmm. than this. Um, I think we had, I don't know, maybe around 100 kids at VBS that year, and I did a double batch just because everybody wanted. Um, so in our house, we're going to have a bigger, be probably about half of that. If you're going to do it for a big party or something where you need to have a lot. And um, just set it out on the parchment paper. What I would usually do is just take big long strips, put it on my counter, or put it on my table, and spoon it out. Let it sit just until it cools down enough to kind of set up. And then you can kind of rip the parchment paper. Um, like say you had a thing of parchment paper this long, then you could, and you had a dish that was this big to keep it in. Are you all right? It burns. <laughs> so you might want to use. <laughs> now I get it. Might want to use teaspoons. Then you can, um, then you can rip the paper just so it fits down, and that way you have something in between the layers until they're nice and set up. Store them in an airtight container, and I would tell you how long they're good for, but I have no idea because they always go really, really fast in our house. I'd say just like any other cookie, probably a couple days unless you put them in the fridge. Yeah. So, okay. but they yeah. don't really last that long. And I'll do one more right here as you will see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there's twelve right there that are and i bet you i could probably hefty. get another twenty four more out of there which means altogether if i did it in the right portions in little kid portions not big kid portions you mm -hmm. can probably get about fifty servings out of there fifty cookies out of that mm -hmm. but that is awesome and i've got just enough on my fingers to let you know and that is delicious. You know what? Peanut butter. Do it like a peanut butter pop. Marshmallows. Almond. Those flavors together are really, really good. Mm -hmm. And then you put that crunch in there from the the cornflakes, as well as the Rice Krispies. And chocolate. And, yeah, and that almond bark in there, mm. it gives it a crunch, so it gives it a double texture there. It's creamy. That's also crunchy. It's really, really sweet. It's really, really good. And it took, uh, other than the hour that it takes to melt down the chocolate. And again, if you need it done faster, cut your chocolate up more. And um, that'll take your, I think I've got it down to maybe like 20, 30 minutes. And I just, I kick her on high and also know your crock pot. If you have a hot crock pot, one that just skyrockets up to high temperatures real quick, use that sucker if you need to go fast. and. Cut your stuff up. Watch it very closely, though, if you're going to use one of those. Watch it very closely. Stir it quite a bit. Get all that um, so the chunks are kind of broke up and everything, and you can have this done in no time flat. And then when you get it done, make sure you clean your crock pot out because that's a lot of work to get it cleaned out, especially mm -hmm. when that stuff sets up. So, yep. 
We want to thank you for watching another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy and Aunt Lou today. And if you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up down below. Also, if you have not become a member of the Crock Posse, hit that little subscribe button and welcome to the family. That's all it takes. We thank you guys for watching another episode. Y'all keep watching and we'll keep cooking and all will be well. Bye. I gotta test this out. Are you not gonna say bye? I said bye. Don't be rude. Bye. You don't want to scare them. <laughs> okay, well at least I can see now. You're so exacerbating. Don't use big words. <laughs> Is there anybody that. out there? Uh, okay, my eyes are closed and it's still hurting my head. It's too bright. Are you just messing with me now? I am. <laughs> That's not <laughs> nice. I can't work under these conditions. Oh my gosh. Thank you.